Good morning, everybody. Well, it's about uh, 4.30 in the morning, Round Knob Canyon, Southern Illinois. Um, and we're finally to the day that I was beginning to wonder when it was going to come. I have Tanya's order all done. Um, I'm going to show you real quick the, the first book that she bought back in uh, around Christmas time. Uh, she also bought the um, one of the Valentine packets uh, that I just sent out to many of you a couple of weeks ago. I hope you have them by now. Everybody didn't let me know, uh, but I keep the receipt till I'm sure everybody has theirs so I have the tracking number. So let's just go through this book again real quick. This is what I called my no Mother Nature book. And I got to looking at, um, I mean, I just like to look on Pinterest and I saw an old book one day. It was nothing like this, but um, it just, uh, you know, triggered something in my mind. And, and I've said that so many times. People want to know how many supplies do you have and where do you buy your supplies and uh, you know, what are your favorite things to use and this and that and how do you dye your papers? The main thing that you need to be able to do this is a creative mind and you can create a creative mind and if that camera setup ever gets here, we're going to work on that. We're going to learn to have a creative mind and anybody that really wants to can do that. My mind never stops. The doctor is always saying, let me give you something for that. Because, you know, I'm hyperactive. I am uh, I have ADHD and OCD. So that's obsessive compulsive. And then hyperactive, uh, you know, I can't stay focused. I am I just, people say you get up at 4 o'clock. Yes, 3 or 4 o'clock every morning, 7 days a week. And I go like a house of fire. Um, on Tanya's book here, this is the Comfy Cozy book. And um, I sat down yesterday morning, I told Geezer, I said, I pretty well have this ready to go, but I'm going to sit down and I've got just one more little uh, adjustment I'd like to make uh, on it because it's going to Tanya, and I'll tell you that about that in just a minute. But uh, because I knew if uh, it didn't work out, she would know how to fix it. And it was something I was experimenting with, so I wanted to, since she was getting a book, I wanted to try it with her because I knew she'd know how to, to take care of it. But um, anyway, I'll tell you about that. Uh, in a minute, but I sit down to just work on this. I thought I was going to be about an hour, and I was 10 hours and 5 minutes. So you talk about over the top. Don't ever worry about I throw something together because uh, for if you're going to buy it, because I do not do that. Okay, this has a rope tying. I took it off to save time. I should have done that one too, but this is the outside, some bark and a real leaf, some creepy cloth. And the inside, we're just going to take a quick flip through of this because we don't have time to do it all. Okay, this is just a very, very grungy book. Very grungy. The grungiest I've made, I guess. And I just put some images in there, and I said in the other video after I made this that uh, I would fasten them down if anybody wanted it, but uh, Antonia didn't specify, but she's uh, very talented. She makes beautiful books herself, so she'll know how to do that. She didn't say, and I forgot to ask. So there. Now, this is kind of a stiff book. This is just an envelope. Look at that envelope. You know, and don't ever mistake anything that I say about my books as bragging. Uh, when I get a book done, sometimes I'm as surprised as what I've done at what I've done <laughs> as you are. <laughs> so I don't mean it in a bragging way. I mean that envelope. Look at that envelope. And it's just an empty envelope. But, oh, my goodness. Now, Tanya will do other things with this envelope because I know how she is. Uh, so that, uh, it'll go there. Let me just tuck it back in there. <coughs> and there's that page. So I'm going to get horse on you here. <coughs> there's just a little duck and some real grunged up, very grunged up paper. There's some more bark. Uh, and just a piece of a paper towel that I did something with. A piece of a... Uh, an old apron, um, you know, and I, I buy most of my fabric, I buy at yard sales or thrift stores, and I haven't been anywhere since last March. I just don't get out in this, so uh, I hope too soon. Um, you know, it's just a beautiful, it is a beautiful book. I didn't know whether to sell it or keep it. But I thought, you know, I work so many hours a day on just this or that, and it's about gardening time, and 
um, you know, I do a, a very huge, extensive uh, cutting garden, and um, that's a lot of work, and it's almost that time, so I thought, you know, I'm just going to let the book go. I can maybe make another one someday. Um, you know, this is nothing fancy, and it's not going to lay open for anybody, but uh, Tanya will do other things with this. Um, there's a cow. Love that cow. But it's just super, super grunged. And uh, we will have classes. Anybody can learn to do this. I taught myself to do this. I have made uh, junk journals for so many years. I say that in my about page on YouTube, on the YouTube channel. Um, I've made them so long I thought it was my idea because, you know, I didn't, ha we didn't have internet way back then and <laughs> Facebook and all that stuff and and Pinterest, and I didn't know there was such a thing. I just like making old books and collages and stuff. I love collages. Uh, and so that's the end of the book. It is just an absolutely beautiful book. Uh, and it's not one you can let the kids pick up and look at. You know, this is a coffee table book. It needs to stay tied or whatever she's going to do with it. She'll know what to do with it. I'm, I'm really glad she got this because she will know. She does nature things, and she knows how fragile some of that stuff is. And then I have a little thing here. This is going in another envelope to send her some extra supplies <laughs> from Round Knob Canyon. Okay, this book. This is called the Comfy Cozy Book. And many of you are wanting the Comfy, Comfy Cozy Books. And I'm not taking orders for them because I took orders on something else that I did back in the fall. And I ended up with 20-something orders. I cut it off at 20 and the orders kept coming in. And I was so overwhelmed with it. I just... My ADHD, OCD brain just couldn't handle it. So I had to cancel out on everything and just say, if I make any more, they'll be up for grabs in the order of the, the way everybody uh, had asked. But let's just open it up and see what's in here. The Comfy Cozy Books. Like I said, many are wanting the Comfy Cozy Book. Many are wanting a book just like this. And I will be starting another one right away. In fact, I have another one already started. Um, this old quilt, uh, this is really um, a pillow cover, pillowcase, not a pillowcase. Uh, you know, they go with comforters. What do you call them? My brain is 4.30 in the morning. I'm not that sharp yet, <laughs> like I am in the middle of the day. Um, but um, this was just like new. I bought them at a yard sale. I bought five sets of different patterns. And I just took it out to the barn and sanded it. See, it was like brand new. It didn't look like it had ever been used right out of the package. So I sanded it and grunged it up. And we'll learn to do all that. Hang on with me. So it has a clothespin on the front. I just love clothespins. I love anything to do with the old, old days. Grandma, you know, buttons on the front. So uh, they uh, will all have a quilted cover. They will all have the clothespin in the comfy, cozy books. Uh, they will be similar, but no two will ever be alike because some of this stuff I only have one or two of, and I just can't, you know, because it comes from yard sales and, and thrift stores and stuff. Uh, I don't buy a lot of new. I buy some fabric at Hobby Lobby, um, and I buy the Tim Holtz ink, and that stuff is just not worth two cents in Chinese money, in my opinion. <laughs> <laughs> at least the walnut that I use because it dries up so fast. But uh, I do use it. Uh, I dunk everything in heavy coffee. We're not going to go there because we got to get through this book. Okay, uh, this is just the first page. Most pages have just a strip. I like to put a strip down through there where the, uh, the seam is. The uh, uh, And I, I'm not going to read everything in here because I've got quite a few quotes and poems and things in there. But it says, uh, this one says, she was beautiful, but not in the way those girls in the magazines are. Uh, she was beautiful for the way she thought. The, she was beautiful for the sparkle in her eyes when she talked about something she loved. And she was beautiful for her ability to make other people smile, even when she was sad. So no, she wasn't beautiful for something as temporary as her looks. She was beautiful for what was deep down inside her soul. I absolutely love that. Um, I love these little images. That's a Sarah Kay image. Uh, love that. Okay, going to keep on going because there's lots here <clears throat> and we have to get done. 
Um, this is just, uh, you know, I like to grunge up every page. I like to grunge up everything that goes in it. Now, some of these bowls are mashed down, Tanya, so you'll need to fluff them up, but they're all, everything's good. Uh, this says the beauty of a woman is not in the clothes she wears, the figure that she carries, or the way that she combs her hair. The beauty of a woman is seen in her eyes because that's the doorway to her heart and the place where love resides, and then that goes on and on. Okay, that was a little book that fell out, so let's just peep in here real quick. I hope I'm getting everything in frame here. Uh, this is just a little book to do with as you want. Uh, uh, add uh, images to or put your own little whatever foo-foo in there. There's a the little packet with little pen. I distress these pens. I get them, the pens in a package at the dollar store, cut them in three pieces, and make little pencils. Pencils, not pens. So, and then there's a little notepad under there with two or three or four pages in it. So that's what that is. And this says Bunny Love over here. And this says, Time Began in a Garden. This is the kitchen page that, oops, let me put this back. Okay, this is the kitchen page that uh, people have so uh, big a fit over. Uh, the poem is what they have the big fit over. And it says, this is the kitchen memories page uh, poem. And it says, I'll always remember the good old days, and that's really putting it mild. But you can bet your boots I'll never forget things that happened when I was a child. When it was cold and stormy outside, the kitchen was the place to be, the oven door. Open on the old wood stove, we were cozy as we could be. A block of ice in the old ice box, the hand pump at the sink, doing homework by a kerosene lamp and using a pen with a bottle of ink. And there's just so much. It just goes on and on and on. Old, uh, one moment in time, kitchen memories, love. And I just put a piece of plaid down through there. That's a kitchen scene, if you can see it in the, with the lighting up here. Uh, I have lighting, uh, better lighting for the uh, when the whole setup comes too. So an old key, some old buttons, bows on both pages. If you know me, you know I love bows, buttons and bows. Okay. Oh, and this, this is just a packet. I'm not going to open it, but it's just got some readings and poems and things in it. Um, and so I'm not going to open it up. I'm just going to tuck it down in there. Um, it's, let's just do this first. Okay, this is just a little book that goes down in here. It's just another tuck. And this is made out of homemade paper. The cover is made out of homemade paper. And it just has, uh, some pages have something on them and some don't. My scanner's jabbering like a magpie. If I was downstairs doing nothing, it wouldn't be talking. <laughs> but anyway, um, this is happiness keeps you sweet, trials keep you strong, sorrow keeps you human, and faith, uh, failure keeps you humble, and courage keeps you going. Uh, this is some stuff I just bought at Hobby Lobby this week, and I love that. Uh, I'm going to use it in some of my nature and some of my more grungy books. I think I'm about to do a grandpa book. I'll see. Or even a grandma book, and I, I wanted to use that. So this is just some stamped pages, uh, but you could put something over them if you wanted to, even fabric and something else. Attitude is the difference between an ordeal and an adventure. And it just goes on and on with just, you know, stamped pages, tissue paper. I love to work with tissue paper. This says, this is my wish for you. Comfort on difficult days, smiles when sadness intrudes, rainbows to follow the clouds, laughter to kiss your lips, sunsets to warm your heart, hugs when spirits sag, and it goes on and on and on. That's just a piece of burlap and an old button. And uh, this says... This is the beginning of a new day. You've been given this day to use as you will. You will waste it. You can waste it or use it for good. What you do today is important because you're exchanging a day of your life for it. And when tomorrow comes, this day will be gone forever. In its place will be something that you've left behind. So let's all let that something be something good. Um, I try to live by that. I'm kind of a corny um, person, really. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I've got quirky ways and um, quirky thoughts, and uh, I love quirky things, but that's me. You know, there's plenty of the other kind uh, to go around. <laughs> I'm going to lay this aside for just a second. This is the home, uh, old home place page, and this is what took me so long yesterday. I had worked on this page already, and... Um, 
I had bought this green moss at Hobby Lobby, and I had been wanting to use it, but didn't know if it would last, how it would last, how it would hold up at all, uh, if it would be messy in the book. Uh, so then I kept thinking about it. I kept thinking, Tanya's getting that book. Tanya will want to know if, if um, that page goes sour. <laughs> she will know what to do. Um, so uh, I told Geezer, I said, I'm going to sit down and rework this page and, and use that moss I bought and uh, some of those little pine cones because if it goes sour, Tanya will know how to fix it. And uh, so I won't have to worry so much. So I did. I sat down and started on this page. And I'm telling you, 10 hours and 5 minutes later, it wasn't all on this page because then I thought, well, maybe I ought to add here and maybe I ought to add there. You know, this book has been sold for a month and a half, but I'm still adding to it. That's the way I do. I go the extra mile. But uh, there's a stick here, some of that green moss across here under the stick and around the stick. There's some green moss here. Um, and the old... Uh, Homestead, that porch, so many people ask for that image in their book if they're wanting the old grandma book or, or an old, old type book. They want that image, and I love that image. And uh, oddly enough, that looks like our old home place on uh, East 5th Street in Metropolis, Illinois. We had a porch that wrapped around like that. Mama had a swing right there, and the door was right there. But it was a whole lot bigger than that, and it was really nicer and, and more new. But... Uh, that I was just working on this page yesterday, and I thought, oh my goodness, that looks like our home on East Fifth Street. It's been torn down now. We sold the corner to an insurance company, and they redid the whole corner. Of course, they didn't want the house, but <laughs> anyway, that happened. So this is the, the poem, The Old Home Place. And it says, I can see the crooked, the crooked boards that line the outer walls. I can smell the age-old scent. I hear the rooster call, and I'm reading too many things. But, you know, we, I've read that poem before, so you know how it goes. This is Home Sweet Home. Some buttons down the side. Let's put this back in here, and I'll tie it again in a minute. This is just a beautiful book. I mean, I don't mean to go on and on about these books, but I'm telling you, some of these books are so hard to let go. This is just... Um, a little uh, stack of quotes and things tied with a piece of muslin. This is a little book, and I've got it pinned there, a uh, booklet. I'm not going to take it off because I've got it pinned there, but it's just some little vintage girls pinned to the top. Let me see here. Let me pick it up so you can see better, and I don't think you're going to be able to. The lighting is terrible. I hope it's going to be better in the other room if we ever get to the other room. Um, this is, um, let me clip this back. Oh, I'll clip that back in a minute because we're almost to the end. Um, this is a bunch of the Sunbonnet Sioux. Uh, one of the ladies, and gosh, I can't remember her name, um, uh, is doing some books with that on the front. And I, I used to try to embroider this, but you know, that's a slow process. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm way too hyper for that. But I thought, you know, I'm going to put some of those Sunbonnet Sues in my um, some of my books because I love that I may even do a book with um, Sunbonnet Sue on the front at some point. But right now, uh, we're doing Comfy Cozy, and I'm going to have some bundles out pretty soon. And uh, see, there's just a piece of um, lace uh, that I've put down. I like to put something between each page. And here we are to the back of the page and uh, back of the book, and um, it's just a clock, uh, uh, things about time and taking time and savoring the moment, and uh, uh, quotes, uh, these flowers came from Hobby Lobby, and um, I just grunged them up with my Tim Holtz ink, uh, a bow up here. This is a prayer rock and the prayer poem, and it's pinned to the, to the book. Uh, there's just so much in it, and the inserts, uh, you know, the little book inserts and the envelopes with things in them, and uh, so much, and uh, I've got a couple things that I'm still going to tuck in there that I just didn't want to put on the video, because uh, I always try to put a little extra in the book in spite of uh, what all I do to the package. I try to send a little extra in the package, so there will be that, so um, that's it. It's finally getting ready to go off to Tanya. I'll be on something else soon. I don't know what it's going to be. Oh, the giveaway. Uh, we'll have a giveaway when we get to 1,000 uh, members in our grandma group, and we will have a giveaway when we get to 1,000 members, uh, subscribers in the on the YouTube channel. But now don't go out and um, 
invite a bunch of people that are not interested in junk journals because we don't want, we're not looking for numbers. We're looking for like-minded like moms, wives, moms, grandmas, crafters, whatever, dads, grandpas, whatever are out there that are uh, with us or want to be with us. But we're looking for like-minded people that will really take part, want to learn, or want to even just watch, you know, uh, maybe need a connection with other like-minded moms and grandmas and and that. Uh, you know, that's what we want. We want to be a community of friends uh, that are there to support and uh, lift each other up. So um, if you know of people who would, are interested in this type of thing, yes, tell them about our group and tell them about my YouTube channel. And the YouTube channel is just K Comer, C-O-M-E-R. So uh, if you haven't subscribed to the YouTube channel, go ahead and do that. Um, and if you haven't joined the group, come over to Junk Journals from Grandma with Love. We're a fun, fun group. We do so many fun things. We're doing a 52 card challenge for the year. It will run the year. It's a new card each week. And I just remembered I have to post this, the show and tell video this morning. So this is show and tell time. That's every weekend. So I'll do that in just a minute. Um, and we're doing a calendar, a 2021 calendar. And you can do it out of a book. You can do it out of an old calendar. Uh, I mean, get a calendar at, at Dollar Tree or wherever and rework it. That video is in the YouTube channel just a few uh, over from where this one is going to be. So the instructions are all there. We have a question of the day, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, sometimes Tuesday and Thursday. <laughs> and they're fun questions. They're not always craft-related. Sometimes yesterday it was, uh, what's in your purse? If you had to dump your purse um, for an officer in a, a store because they suspected you of shoplifting, what are two or three things that you would have in your purse that people would be shocked at? Uh, mine would be my police scanner because I carry it with me pretty well everywhere. And um, uh, I carry a mustard seed charm and, you know, but they had some really neat answers and it's fun. Um, I don't carry a bag a whole lot. In fact, that's why we're talking about doing the grandma bags. I don't like handbags. I think they're tacky looking. To me, they're tacky looking. It's just an old black or brown or red or pink or blue or whatever handbag. I'm just not, I don't like that. I do like hobo bags and I always have a hobo bag in the car, but mine are store-bought. So we're going to see if we can come up with a way using one or two of our friends here in the grandma group to make us some hobo bags. And I have requested that they be about uh, $25 with $8 or $9 shipping um, and be cloth quilted or whatever, you know, padded a little bit, uh, uh, maybe 10 by 10. We'll talk about that just a little bit later because I'm still uh, waiting on ideas, talking to a few people, and uh, we'll see how that goes. But I want them to be very grungy and tattered and worn and uh, I want them to be something we'll be proud to carry and I would be proud to carry. Um, so we'll, we'll be coming up with that pretty soon. Uh, let's see, just so many things, you know, uh, uh, some of the questions of the day are what's, what was for supper last night or what's going to be for supper tonight. And some of the things, you know, we, we get ideas from what other people do. And sometimes we'll just reintroduce ourselves every two or three or four months, two or three months. And we don't wait too long because we're growing too fast, but we just reintroduce ourselves so people can know where we're from. We're from all over the world and from all walks of life. And it's just a wonderful, wonderful group. Uh, so many groups, you know, you, you'll click on there and it'll say they have 10 or 12 or 15 posts a day, but we have like 50, 75. <laughs> you know, we have a, a, it's a very active and friendly group. Uh, we don't have a lot of rules there. Uh, it's mainly be nice, no bad language, no questionable photos or images of any kind. Um, uh, you know, it's just a, let's just be friends. Don't spam the thing. Don't ask for or send a sob story to somebody through a private messenger. You know, we don't allow that kind of thing. And if it happens to you, let me know and it won't happen again. And that person won't be with us anymore. So uh, right now we're doing just great. We're a great, great, great fun and friendly group. And we want to keep it that way. Okay, that's it. I'm going to get this down. Uh, stairs. Uh, uh, first, I'm going to post the show and tell because I did forget that. And then I'm going to upload this video and I'll have it for you on uh, sometime early this morning. Uh, thank you all for watching. I'll be on to something else right away. We do have another group of bundles coming up early in February. 
Did I say what the giveaway was? No, the giveaway is going to be uh, uh, a few of my favorite things. So uh, that will be a, a, a nice little giveaway. It, and I was going to make one, but then I spent so much on this time on this book yesterday, I didn't have time. But uh, it will be, you know what my bundles will look like. So it will be a very nice bundle that everybody will be proud to own. And it will have the supplies you need to start right in and make a book. So, or two or three or four. <laughs> so, uh, uh, that's it. The bundle's in early February. I have an idea in mind and I'm really excited about it, but I'm going to try one first and see. But it'll be a very unique bundle I'm, if I do what I'm thinking of. Okay, that's it. Got to get going. Uh, more soon, more books will be coming right away or be started right away. Uh, I hope you all have a super duper grand and groovy day. I hope you get a little kindness and spread a little kindness absolutely everywhere you go. Uh, we're living in tough times and everybody's having tough times. Everybody's carrying heavy burdens on their shoulders. Most of us are. Uh, so let's just be kind and uh, be supportive and uh, love one another. And I love you all. Talk to you later.